Welcome back to Tales of Crisis Earth! Last time we finished up in the, uh, glacier, reunited the entire party! And I went and dualized stuff off screen. We're moving on to the Overseer's Chamber! Oh my gosh, Fourier, I haven't seen you in forever. Just when I thought it was safe to relax. It looks like you brought the whole gang with you. Listen, Fourier, we need your help. Oh? When monsters change, it's usually due to a mutation triggered by their environment. Sorry, but... Could you explain? All creatures have the ability to adapt to changing conditions. It's what allows the species to thrive. For example, if animals from a warm climate are transported to a colder one, many of them will perish. However, the strong ones will adapt and evolve in order to survive. So is that what's happening here? Yes. I would assume the monsters are evolving to better meet the threat posed by humans. So you think we're helping to make the monsters stronger? That's what I just said, isn't it? Of course, it's just a hypothesis. Hmm, but doesn't it usually take forever for things to evolve? Normally, yes. Evolution is a slow process that takes several generations to unfold. But we have numerous examples of sudden mutations in monsters, especially those that live near the Valcanus. In other words, outside interference greatly increases the odds of rapid mutation. I would theorize that an unknown being is affecting them, perhaps something similar to Lambda or Lestalia. Do you think Lambda himself might be responsible? Absolutely not. You seem quite sure. How can you be so certain? Do you doubt my powers? It's not that. I made a decision to exist together with you, so of course I'm going to trust you. Did you say... trust? You lent me your power because you were trying to help. Isn't that right? Even if true, I would do so only because you are my host vessel. Though I exist inside you, do not be so arrogant as to think you can control me. I'm not trying to control you. You helped us back there. You saved our lives. I haven't thanked you yet, so thanks. This is nonsense. I don't know if Lambda influenced the mutations, but I didn't sense his power in those monsters. If that's the case, then I think the problem might be up there.
in Fodra? I wanted to talk to you because Fodra's been acting kind of wonky. I didn't even notice until Poisson and the Overseer brought it up. But ever since, me and all the other Amarcians have been studying it. About two months ago, we found Elith gushing from a point on the surface. Therefore, Fodra's supposedly non-functional core is showing signs of activity. If Fodra's core is in fact the source of all life, then... Yes, it's conceivable that the core might be promoting evolution in the monsters. Is my sister the best or what? Okay, guys, I gotta take the shuttle and zip off to Fodra. Do you really think you'll learn something new up there? Well, I'm sure not learning anything standing around here. In that case, we'll go with you. Oh, hey, wait. Is Stratus Valkanus still okay? Cause you know, all these crazy monsters are appearing near Valkanus. At the very least, the President deserves to know. But that means a side trip to Strata. I'll go. But I'm not looking forward to it. Something wrong, Hubert? D no, it's nothing. How about we go with you? It'll be a lot easier than going alone. All right, but please try not to cause any trouble. Pascal acquired the big sister type title. Is that her title with her, uh... Excel! Cool! Okay, I just gotta get everyone their Excel. Did anyone, does anyone else... That's not where I wanted to go. Did anyone else get their, uh... She's got the Excel. He has got Excel, but I'm just sort of waiting to go into it. He doesn't have the Excel thing yet. Thruster... Uh, poison proof. Nothing else new. King of Windor. Holy Lance! Okay, uh, Excel. No Excel. Uh, no Excel. The thing after Excel. Cool! <laughs> Guilty conscience. Aw, you look down, little bro. What's wrong? Who, me? No, nothing's wrong. Leave me alone. Geez, fine. Sorry. No need to be so cold. Gosh. You are being mean to Pascal, Hubert. No, I'm... Wait. Am I? But that's how I've always acted. You never look her in the eyes. Hmm? Sophie? You are very perceptive. It's just... Looking at her like that is... Difficult. It's hard for me to explain. I don't think I can meet her gaze at this particular moment. Do you have a guilty conscience? Huh? You've been talking to the captain, haven't you? When a man has a guilty conscience, he can't look a woman in the eye, right? Hmm, perhaps not. Not that I feel particularly guilty about anything, mind you. I hate to admit it, but sometimes even I don't understand what's wrong with me. It's okay. Cheer up, Hubert. Aww. Off we go! Sophie? You all right? If you have something to say, you shouldn't keep it inside. Pascal, 
I... I want to be human. But you're already plenty human. Your body's just a little different is all. No, it's more than that. I'm not like you at all. Asbel. Sharia. Hubert. Richard. Pascal. Captain Malik. You're all going to die someday. But... not me. If I were a human, you couldn't leave me behind when you died. Help me, Asbel. How do I become human? Well... I see. It's impossible, isn't it? I'm not even capable of tears. No matter how sad I get, I can't even cry like you. I just... I just want to be the same as you. I wish that Asbel was my father, and Sharia was my mother. I wish I'd been born human, with you as my family. Asbel, I'm... I'm not sure it's a good idea to bring her with us. It's okay. I'll stay behind, here, with Sophie. I just don't think she should travel until she's feeling a little better. I'll stay here, too. I'm totally good at cheering people up. And you, Asbel? It might help to come along and clear your head for a bit. All right. I'll go to Strata. Well, it looks like it's just the men this time. Sharia, take care of Sophie, okay? Malik acquired the leader of men title. This better have his Excel. It does, sweet. Is there anything I want in here? God damn. Uh, um. <laughs> oh, that's all that problem. <clears throat> that's good. Um, is there anything else we need to do here? Um, hmm, untrusted sources, what? So that big crater in front of the village is still there, huh? The one Pascal made? Yes. There was talk about filling it in, but it's not blocking the road or anything, so we left it. Since we're talking about Pascal, I've been wondering about something. Are Pascal, Poisson, and Foyer all sisters? Apparently, Amarcians get married and have children at much younger ages than we do. They say it's healthier, biologically speaking. I hear that some parents and children are so close in age that they often claim to be siblings when dealing with the outside world. What he's trying to say is that Fourier is Pascal's mother, and Poisson is Pascal's daughter. Wait, what? Her daughter? It would be shocking if it were true. Huh? I'd imagine that Pascal and Fourier are sisters, just as it appears. And Poisson is unrelated, since she's in line to be the next overseer. <sighs> I'll just ask Pascal next time I see her. Ah, oh, Jesus. And we thought Sophie was a troll. My god, Richard. Where's some Sophie and Pascal? God. Yeah, okay, is there anything for requests? What did we hand in? We already had it in. Seafood stew! Do we have any seafood? Um... 
That's not seafood. Whatever. Uh, no scene. Okay, seafood stew would require a seafood set. I'm guessing, and a stew. I don't think I have a seafood set right now, because I remember I went to the ports and then the kid and Velenik to do it and stuff. Yeah. Stuff, damn it. By the way, that one scene we just got, I think that only shows up if you actually do the walking in uh, to a Valenix, so you go by that crater. Um, where are we going? We are going to... Warrior's Roost. Guess what? Side quest time! Okay, sorry about that. I need to readjust my headset because my ear is itching. Okay, so... There's a skit somewhere under. Hi, cat! There was a skit up top. Nope, Mask of Justice! I have always wanted to come to this place. So you can challenge Riot Peak and test your skill? Right. And also meet Ombre Noir, the Mask of Justice. Homeboy Niles? Ombre Noir! He makes his home at Riot Peak and protects the island. He invites warriors to fight so that he might instill in powerful men a desire for peace. Whenever innocents are in peril, he leaves the island and emerges as a powerful force for righteousness. Yeah, but wait, hold on. I thought only the Guardians live on Riot Peak. You are correct. Ombre Noir is a character based off the Riot Peak Guardian we met. Wait, you met the Guardian? Well, yeah. Wow. I've always wanted to meet him. I even got his autograph. When did that happen? Incredible. You must show it to me later. Why wait till later when I can show you now? It's right over there in my luggage. Oh, let's see. Uh... Those two sure are chummy. Man, I should have asked for an autograph too. Ah... Ombre Noir. Okay, anyways, yeah, that was the... Guess you can't get that one unless you go up to the top of right peak. Cool. Anyways, we did get that sword for the guy, too. I mean, yeah. Okay, guess we gotta go all the way to the government section. I probably could have taken a boat to get there quicker, maybe. I don't know, it might be faster to run. I don't know. Still have to walk all the way there. This is another one of those moments where I wish you could just go to location. Although this is this game is pretty good. I do have beef with some cities being so huge you have to like walk to get to every location. But this is it's not that bad in this game, because everything's still pretty close. This is starting to get out of hand. I couldn't do anything for her. I didn't know what to say. Few people would. It's a difficult problem with no one simple solution. Right now, you need to attend to business. You can make time for Sophie later. You're right. Of course. So, Hubert, will we see the president soon? Hubert. Oh, uh, yes, of course. Worried about the president's daughter, are you? Captain, wait, what? It's nothing, it's just a little marriage proposal. I never thought I'd hear the words Hubert and marriage in the same conversation. You're one to talk. Mother had plenty to say about you and her letters, you know. 
Don't you two have anything better to do than discuss my personal life? Don't look at me. Your marriage is all she can think about anymore. It is a sign of great trust for the president to offer you his daughter's hand. I know, and that's what makes it so awkward. If you hadn't sent that request for aid, I don't know what I'd be doing now. If you're this worried, Hubert, maybe we shouldn't go on. I'm not worried, it's just... I don't know how to approach the president, because I have no intention of accepting the proposal. The president is reasonable. If you speak with him, man to man, I'm sure he'll understand. Uh, filial piety? Uh, just go. So, how is your foster father doing these days, Hubert? Well, he spent quite a bit of time moping around the house. Was he sick? No. It's from when the president discovered his plan to take over Lant. You can imagine the repercussions he had to face as a direct result. I won't lie, those were tough times. But now my father and the president seem to be getting along far better than they were before. So, all the talk about you marrying the president's daughter stems from that? Hmm. Yes, that may be the case. Regardless, treasure the time you have left with your father. You don't know how long his health will hold, and I'm sure he still has things to teach you. There isn't much I care to hear from that particular father. The more I see of men like you, the less I want a son of my own. Does that mean you want a daughter, Captain Malik? Well, I suppose I wouldn't mind an adorable little girl. Adorable, sure. Until she grows up and calls you a pig, and tells you to stay out of her life forever. Hubert, does it bring you joy to crush my dreams? Oh, please, Captain. I'm only being realistic. Whether he's right or not, I do have things to report. I suppose a quick family visit wouldn't hurt? Okay, well, I think that one title we got was, uh, yep, there we go. Excel charge, there wasn't anything here, right? Whatever, we're getting the Excel charge first. Okay, moving in. Mr. President. Hubert, Lord Asbel. My goodness, King Richard. What's going on? Did something happen? We've received word that the Valconus is under attack. Damn! I didn't think the monsters would get here so quickly. Do you know something? We can explain everything later. Right now, we need your permission to attack these creatures. King Richard, I couldn't possibly ask that of you. Please, I insist. My kingdom owes a great debt to the courage of Strata. I would do anything in my power to help you. Additionally, sir, I fear our soldiers will be no match for these monsters. However, we have recently acquired the power to combat them. Very well. If things are as you say, I will leave these beasts in your capable hands. Thank you, Mr. President. We won't disappoint you. Goddamn me in these long episodes. Next time we'll move on. Whatever that title is, we'll look at it next time. See you guys then.